Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Life with Shelly. If you guys are new here, welcome. If you guys have been watching my videos for a while, welcome back. Today's video, I will be talking about something totally different. And I wanted to talk about today, why do we lose friends? And I wanted to go onto this topic because I can kind of relate to this topic, actually. I lost a lot of friends, like... I used to have a lot of friends through grade school, middle school, high school, and when I started growing up, I knew that I didn't have very many friends anymore. Sorry if you saw a tail go by, it's my cat Callie. She's a calico cat, and then I have an orange tabby cat that's just sitting on the bed relaxing, taking a cat nap. But like, in reality, in life we do lose friends because that's just how it is you can't change the fact that you can't make friends you can't make your friends stay as being your friend if they don't want to if the friendship isn't working out then it's just not working out you can't beg them to stay because they just can't friends come and go it's it sucks and it's sad but I thought I would always keep my great like my grade school friends like when I went to grade school and stuff I thought I would keep my old friends always I didn't think I would lose any friends when I went to middle school and high school <sighs> but unfortunately you kind of do actually you kind of do lose your friends and the ones some of them move some of them change and then you may think that you may not have the same interest like you used to and that's okay it's just it's sad and it sucks but you can't make your old friends stay with you you just can't you kind of just you kind of change and I think I changed a lot since I was in high school and middle school and grade school I mean when you're a kid you change because you're getting older and stuff like that and you change as a person and you go through different things in life and it's sad and it sucks but in this world and this life that we live in just things just change things don't stay the same forever like you don't sometimes you may live in the same house forever and never move and some people do move and move on with their life and move on to another state and then you never really get to see them. Um, some of them may say, oh, let's stay in touch. And the old friends never do. Like, they always seem like... They always seem like they want you to text them and bother with them. But then I feel like, well, you can do the same. Why do I need to bother and text them? When they could do the same, I hate when people say, oh, you can call or text me anytime. Well, I had a friend like did this and I, I didn't talk to her. My old friend, I talked to her a couple days ago because my fiance wanted to go like, um, like, I'm not really going to talk about it too much, but, or go into detail, but I thought, like, I was talking to her since I would have to stay somewhere. I didn't, like... I didn't know really know where to go and and she was like my old friend that I used to work with and I used to live with her a long time ago and I haven't talked to her in like seven years and my fiance has to go somewhere or something to do some army training and I thought I could stay with her for five weeks because that's what the army training is or whatever that's what he told me so then I could bring my two cats along with me and stay with her, but then I was disappointed. I was kind of upset, really. Um, I mean, it came to a disappointment where I was, like, crying because I was disappointed. I thought she'd say yes, but then she said someone else is living with her, so I couldn't live with, so I couldn't, like, stay with her, not live with her, just stay with her for a couple weeks and it didn't really work out I was upset and then later on I'm like why am I crying about it 
I mean, there's nothing really I could do about it. I'm glad that she told me, but I was still disappointed because, I don't know, I thought she'd say yes, and I got disappointed, and I should never really... I hate this about different disappointments. Like, I think sometimes it kind of helps. I don't know if if it helps for everyone, but sometimes it helps me. Like, okay, say if you're going to ask somebody... Like, if you, like, say if you were going to stay with somebody and, like, stay with one of your friends or something or a family member, um, you should always think in your mind there could be a disappointment. Like, they could say no or something. I would say I always kind of stick with that a little bit, too, because you don't want to be too disappointed where like like you're hoping that they that person would say yes and all of a sudden if that person says no you're going to be disappointed and i kind of think that i should have kind of thought in my head she might just say no so i would sometimes think in my mind um if you're going to ask someone to like if you're going to stay with somebody and if you're going to ask them i always kind of think more towards a disappointment because that way if they do say no, you're not going to be as disappointed. I learned from that. It sucks, but there's always going to be some kind of a disappointment in life. That's what my mom told me. She's like, this is like way back when I lived with my parents. My mom told me, there's always going to be some disappointment in your life, no matter what. There's just going to be some disappointment. And that's what I think people should think. Um, sometimes you will come up with disappointments because that's just life. Um, you will have you will have good days, you'll have bad days. That's just how it is. But I never really thought my friend Linda would say no. I thought maybe she would have room, but she said she didn't have another bedroom for me to be like at for those five weeks because she had someone else living with her. And I couldn't bring my two cats along with me or or me staying there because she didn't have no room. And that was just a disappointment, like a disappointment in my life that happened a couple days ago. And then she called me on my birthday. I wish, like, I was, I was really okay without her. I wish she told me on another day where she could, like, actually talk to me. No, she's like, oh, this is what I really wanted to tell you. Um, you couldn't, no, you can't stay with me because I'm, I have somebody living with me, so I have no room. Well, I didn't think she would say no. I thought maybe she would make room even, but that was a disappointment. And I didn't think I'd be so disappointed, but I was, and I was surprised. But then again, you have to know for sure, like you gotta know that there's gonna be a disappointment and that's just how it is. And I was kind of really, really upset at first, but that's just how it is. And then she just wanted to tell me that one thing and I thought she was calling me because she wanted to have she wanted me to call her back because she left me a voicemail message and I thought she was the one that wanted to she wanted to talk to me more have a conversation on the phone but no she, that's the thing that she wanted to call me for and this happened on my birthday which was stupid I had a really nice birthday until she had to call me and it made me upset so I mean like I just thought like if she to me, I kind of felt like it was a waste of time to call her because the only reason she called me was not to have a conversation, to to call me because she said she didn't have no room and she didn't have another bedroom and that she had no room for me or my cats. So then it's like, well, why don't you just leave me a voicemail message about that? That way I would have never had to waste my time in calling her 
and I thought I thought that was just really 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 stupid because it's like what the heck why didn't she have to waste her time and calling me and when I thought oh she left me a message because she and I were gonna go we would talk for a little bit that's what I thought and she thought something different that I was moving in with her but no I just needed something like a place to live for the five weeks while my fiance is at army training but hopefully maybe he won't have to do army training and he can just be the, in the army but I don't know I don't know how the whole army thing works and he was in the army for 18 years but he wants to go back in it so I don't know and I don't know it was disappointing and especially she called me on my birthday she should have just called me on another day where she and I could actually talk on the phone. But then she's like, oh, I gotta go. Um, sorry. Or whatever. And she's like, oh, you can't stay with me because I have someone living with me. I have no room. I don't have another bedroom, so you can't stay with me. I'm like, okay. She's like, how you doing? I'm like, good. How are you? And she's like, good. So it was, so st it was like, I felt like it was the stupidest conversation ever. It was like so damn short and then she's like oh you can text and you can text and call me anytime I'm like okay it's not like you're going to so then I'm like bye and then I, after I got off the phone I started crying because I was disappointed I thought but then again I really don't care because she and I haven't talked in like seven years so to me I'm like whatever who cares and bye it's like, I don't know. And then she told me that she had another friend named Michelle. And she's like, oh, you guys can talk. And she could be your friend too. I'm like, whatever. I'm like, you know, whatever. It's like, it's like, she, <laughs> like my name is Michelle, but I go by Shelly. I felt like I got replaced. And <laughs> it was stupid. And I just wish I never talked to her. She was just dumb. I wish I never wasted my time in talking to her. And I was really pretty much sad about it. Like, I don't know, it happened on my birthday. So that even made me more sad because I was disappointed. And I had a great, awesome day that day. And then once I called her, that's when everything went downhill from there. I just wish I never called her. I wish I kind of just blew her off. I wish I just like never called her back. And I wish I never like, I wish I just deleted her number and never called her back because, and I feel like she never writes me a letter. She never asks me, she has my address and she has my cell phone number, but it's like, she never really, I mean, she never sends me a letter, never asks me how I'm doing. It's like, people don't really write letters anymore. Like, I was in Girl Scouts when I was in first grade. And I still, t I still like to stay in touch with my Girl Scout leader because I thought she was really nice. And she was like the only one that writes me a letter. I think it's like weird. It's like no one else, like your hand is not going to break. If you write a letter, it's not that hard. Just write a damn letter. And I feel like people are just lazy and like, they don't know how to, or they don't know how to write a damn letter. And it's not that hard. Just write a damn letter. Your fingers are not gonna break off. Your hand won't break. It was just stupid. And like, I write my, I write my Girl Scout leader a letter sometimes. So we write letters back and forth, which is nice because I like to read her letters and stuff. And she has nice handwriting and she's really, really nice. But, um, I just don't get some people like if she was not going to actually talk to me on the phone, I just feel like she should have just left me a voicemail message and left it like that and tell me in the message instead of me wasting my time and calling her because I know for a fact she's never going to text me I don't work with her anymore I don't live in Illinois anymore 
and it's so stupid and I feel like my friendship with her like was seven years ago and then seven years ago now my friendship with with her won't ever be the same it's far long gone and that's what I mean I don't want a lot of friends to make me happy and not a lot of friends do make me happy I just hear a lot of drama and a lot of crap and I just kind of sometimes I like my so very small group of friends because I really don't want a lot of friends in my life I used to have a whole bunch when I started growing up and going to grade school middle school high school I have tons of friends but then then once I graduated high school I didn't have very many friends anymore and then I felt like well this is how it is and then to, for like even today even or to or to this day I don't have a lot of friends because I feel like I'm happy with my own kind of small group of friends and I feel like I don't need a lot of friends to make me happy and not a lot of friends actually didn't really make me happy some of them just kind of boss me around or tell me what to do or kind of control my life or what to wear or what to or what's cool and what's not cool and stuff like that and eventually I kind of stayed away from them I started growing apart from them because I felt like my interests and, and their interests weren't really the same like we weren't really the same we kind of just drifted apart and that's what friends do. They sometimes when you guys, when people change in life, people aren't the same like they used to be. So people kind of just drift apart. And it's sad and it sucks, but that's just how it is. And I just feel like my time being with my friend was at that moment. God gives you people in your life for that time. And then once you don't need them anymore, then things happen I guess and then you don't really then you kind of drift apart and I feel like that with some of my friends like for the time being I needed a friend but then after a while when things got better I didn't really need them anymore as much as I did like when I did live in Chicago once I worked at a grocery store and I needed a friend and God gave me some friends to talk to. But then once my fiance and I had to move to another state, I lost those friends. So kind of God gives you friends when you need them the most. And then once you don't really need them, then it's like your friendship then kind of drifts apart. It's really sad and it sucks, but everywhere you go, you'll meet some friends. God will send you some. God knows what we need more than we sometimes do for ourselves. Sometimes just God knows what we need in life. And that's what happens. Friendships suck sometimes, but like I said, I don't really miss having a lot of friends because I feel like having a lot of friends is annoying and I feel like I don't need a lot of friends to be happy anyways. I like just to have a very small group and that's what my fr that's that's a small group. Like my my group of friends used to be a lot, but now my group of friends is just small. Just a small little group of friends. Like just a heart. But it's okay. Having a small group as friends is cool with me because I really don't need a lot of friends to be happy because sometimes friends can cause drama, fighting, and everything else, and I don't want that. I'm just, I want to stay from stay away from negativity and a lot of drama and stupid stuff that I don't need in my life. I go through a lot of different things, like severe anxiety. Like sometimes it's hard for me to get up in the morning because I'm so tired. And I just feel like I could just sleep all day, but I can't. I need to get up and do stuff. But it's always nice to have a couple friends that are positive and tell you nice things. 
and stuff like that. But you don't want negativity in your life. And God loves you for you because he made you of who you are as a person. And you're special in his eyes. And some people may not see that or may not like you, but then that's their problem if they don't like you. Then they have an issue. It, it's not you to fix. It's them. So we lose friends because in our life when we get older we change and sometimes we're not the same people like we used to. And that's okay. It's just how it is. And like I said, I'm happy with a small group of friends. I don't need a lot of friends to make me happy. I have my fiance, my cats. I love to listen to music. I love making TikToks. I love making YouTube. So I try to do stuff to make me happy. And I love cleaning my fiance in our apartment and giving um, the cats fresh food and water every day and cleaning their litter box three, four times a day. Um, it's just a must. That's what happens when you have pets. You need to clean them or not clean them, but like if you have a cat, if you have cats, you have to clean their litter box like maybe about three or four times a day. It depends. And you got to make sure that they have fresh food and water. And if you have a dog, you have to make sure you walk them so they get their exercise and play with the cats so then they can get their exercise. So life kind of keeps you busy. So it's okay to lose friends. That's just life. Thanks guys for watching my videos and I will see you next time in my next video. Take care.